like I'm blowing up her phone. I'm blowing up her phone. I'm calling her. I'm texting her. I'm like, yo, like we, we gotta get on the road. We gotta get on the road. And there was nothing we could do. Like I was so freaking pissed. It's don't happen again. Mm -hmm. by the title i know you guys have a lot of questions and we are here to answer Sorry. yep yep um it's been a minute yeah, it has it has been a minute and a lot went down yes and i <laughs> feel like you guys deserve to know what's been happening um to give you guys a little like update on the reason why we haven't been posting so story time okay so me and savina decided to take a trip to miami, miami and you know what have always happened in miami <laughs> never learned um yes. certain things had happened um certain things were said yes. so this trip was supposed to be three days but it was end up like a day and a half <laughs> pretty much okay so the day of the trip so I'm, I'm texting Savina, I'm telling her, hey, are you ready? I'm on my way over here so we can ride together. Because the, the hotel that we booked is a very popular hotel and they be running out of rooms. Mm -hmm. So, but this hotel is a certain time you gotta get there. And if you're not there at that certain time, they will have to give your room to somebody else. So like I said, it was a very popular hotel. Mm -hmm. So, I'm texting Savina, I'm like, hey, um, are you done? We have to be heading on the road at this amount, this, this, this time so we can make it on time because, like I said, if we don't make it at this certain time, they will give our room away. So I'm texting her, I'm like, hey, Savina, like, should I be on my way? Like, you know, she's not texting that. So I'm already frustrated, like, it took us a lot to even get this room and she over here playing so i got irritated yeah i actually was not really too much worried about the part because since we live in orlando going to miami is like what three hours yeah about just about. but we needed like you know to get their own time you know what i'm saying we had to leave at a certain time to get on time so we won't miss our room mm -hmm. so an hour goes by she finally didn't text me back like I'm blowing up her phone. I'm blowing up her phone. I'm calling her. I'm texting her. I'm like, yo, like we, we gotta get on the road. We gotta get on the road. And hour went by. She finally texts back. I'm already irritated, but we already spent this money and stuff. So I was like, okay. She said, yeah, she's almost done. So I drove over here, and then so we can go together. Yeah, I got to her place. Tell me why we was waiting over, I was waiting over two hours for, before we can leave and hit the road. Like, I was just furious. At this point, I did not want to go. I did not want to go anymore because, one, by the time we get there, there's a chance that we would not make it on time. And then we would lose our room. Mm -hmm. So, two hours went by. We finally hit the road. Like, we're completely silent. Like, at this point, I was irritated and I did not want to go anymore. So we, we hit the road. Okay, so we got to Miami. Um, we got into the hotel to check in. Yeah. Um, so we didn't make it on time, that, on the time that we were supposed to make it. But um, they did not give away our room. But they did try to charge us a lot of money. Like, for being late. So, um, and it wasn't my fault that I was late. So I advised the winner to pay that. I I I wasn't going to. and i wasn't paying it she wasn't paying it so they just gave us our money back and then we booked a different hotel yeah it was a it was it was a whole lot of tussle yeah not physical tussle but verbal tussle yeah. <laughs> and we ended up just 
going in our merry way. Yeah. Now, we going back and forth, back and forth. I'm, I'm saying this is your fault. I'm blaming everything on her because it is her fault because I was ready all the time. <laughs> but the fact that she was the driver, I had no choice but to wait on her. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, we're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We had no choice but to stay in a motel for the night. Yeah, a motel. I was already, I was already irritated with that. And then the fact that we was in a motel just made me even more pissed. Because I really wanted to go back home, but she wanted to stay. But she was my way back home. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, and I didn't want to leave her. So, we stayed the night at a motel. And then um, we went out. You know, to blow some steam because I was already pissed and I was mad. So, you know, we're taking shots out to the bar. Even though I was supposed to be the designated driver back to the to the motel. But, like, I was just so irritated and I just wanted to have a good time so I could just forget about this, whatever situation that just happened. So, I'm taking shots and shots and shots and shots and stuff. You know, trying to have a good time to clear my mind after that. So I don't so I don't ruin this trip, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We still have two days left, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be upset at her. Even though I was upset. And and I and I told her that I was upset. And then when it was time to go home, I couldn't drive. Like I couldn't drive to go back home. Because you was drinking too damn much. And I was. Like you was really pissing me off that day. Like I was wow. I was irritated. I was so irritated, y'all. Like, one thing about me, I do not like to play with time. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it's important, you know? And I was just so mad, y'all. Like, I was just, I was not thinking. I was just so irritated. And then I was just trying to have a good time. Like, and then she had to drive back to the room. And then she didn't want to drive. I didn't even feel like I wanted to drive anyway. She didn't want to drive. I couldn't drive, so she had no choice but to drive. And then on our way home, here she go. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I'm so irresponsible. If you know you're the driver, why are you drinking? I was like, well, if you would have made it on time and I wouldn't have had to be drinking to clear my mind because you really pissed me off on what you, with the stuff you just pulled out right now. Like, I was, y'all, I was so mad and we was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And we said some pretty hurtful things to each other and it's just some things that i cannot even say again yeah um i feel bad me too i mean i kind of i didn't regret it at the moment but like as days went on i started to like regret it um but right the next morning I find a way back home. Like we did not ride together. Like I didn't even know. I didn't even know if she noticed that I left. But I could not stay in that same room with her. Wow. I couldn't stand that trip anymore. You we still like felt that a, way. A, I don't even think it was a day and a half because we got there that night, and I left in the morning. So I'll say a day. Like I was just a couple. Of I hours, was like a couple of hours. I was over it. Like my feelings was hurt. I'm pretty sure my her feelings, feelings was, was hurt, hurt as well. Cause we said some pretty hurtful things. To it's each to other. the point. It's to the point where we actually even started thinking about the channel. Like, what's the future of the channel? Should we even continue to mm -hmm. actually make the channel? But then you know, sometimes whenever you get mad, you get upset. You gotta. Yeah, you don't think. You, you just, yeah, you don't think straight. Mm -hmm. You just gotta, you know, uh, calm down and assess the situation because sometimes a lot of stuff be blown out of proportion mm -hmm. to the point where you overreact and i feel like looking back at it now i feel like it's something that's very um childish in my opinion you know? i wouldn't say childish i mean i feel like when planning a trip you gotta be a little bit more you know responsible you know especially yeah. when you're in a different city and that's a different right. state i would say i was wrong and i you was wrong as well yeah. so we both when we got to orlando we really own up well when we got back we did not speak for like a while yeah like a couple of days yeah so we had we did not speak we just gave each other our space and then um a couple of weeks went by um we came together and it was really just you know 
just reflecting on this the situation how things could have went differently and like you we don't want to end what is it six oh, seven wait, years of friendship yeah actually it's about to be eight years mm -hmm. nine years mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah, because we met in 2016. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. felt like it wasn't, the situation wasn't really worth losing right. our friendship. And so we just, I mean, I'm stubborn. She's stubborn. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> so we really just <laughs> needed that space and that time to really like reflect on the situation and right. reflect, okay, so, you know, we have a channel together, you know how would that really play out in the future and stuff right. like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we came together and then we really just, we really had like a heart to heart conversation and hopefully something like this don't happen again. Mm -hmm. Now we know, we kind of know a little bit better on like certain what, things right. to say and do, you know, when you're vacationing and stuff like that. Yeah, and, and honestly, it's not the first time we went on vacation together. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I feel like it's something about Miami. Yeah, I don't know what's in the water. <laughs> it's I don't more know like what's in, in the, the air. <laughs> what's in the air? I don't know what's in the air, for real. <laughs> but I don't know what's in Miami's air. It's just, it's definitely hit different, you know? Yeah, yeah. But um, it was something. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm glad we actually was able to work it out right. because... Because at the end of the day, a lot of friendship will get worn over something mm -hmm. petty, and it's like when it could have been fixed by right. communication. communication. Exactly. So, um, I'm definitely thankful for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we feel like we owe you guys an explanation on why we haven't been posting. Um, but SNS is back. Right, we're back better than ever. ever. What she said. <laughs> We got more stuff coming in. Yes. Best believe. Make sure you guys are liking our channel. Make sure you guys are subscribing. And we appreciate everybody that's been supporting from day one. And yeah. continuing to support us. Even our new subscribers, our old subscribers. Um, we're back. Yeah. And no, we're we are back. not quitting we're YouTube. Back. We're back. No, we're not quitting and YouTube. And we're not quitting YouTube. We're like, just getting started. Period. How can you come so far to give up? Yes, exactly, exactly. That was one of our main thing too. Like we really done come really far with this channel. Right. We done grown this channel for like over a year now. We did. We put in so many work on this channel. There's no reason to like end the channel yes. or our friendship over something that was just could be resolved. Right. It wasn't yes. nothing like major or nothing too serious. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, make sure you guys are liking, pressing the like button, sharing with your friends and your families. And so well, we hope this new year will bring prosperity, love, new growth for mm -hmm. us and you guys. Yes. Um, you know the SNS family, all of us. And we locked in forever. That bar forever till infinity. Y'all can't get rid of us that easy. Amen to now. that. Amen to that. Oh, no. But <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, we greatly appreciate you. See you in the next one. Bye. SNS. Signing out. Peace. Stay beautiful. <laughs>